What's up guys, today is point of view tutorial number 9 and today I'm teaching you guys how to frontside 50-50 on a ledge. This is the second point of view tutorial on anything other than a flat ground trick, so that's still pretty damn exciting. The frontside 50-50 is also probably the first grind that you're gonna learn in your skateboard career, so that makes this video even more exciting. You might be wondering, huh? Wasn't the board slide my first grind, Bruno? Well, no. Technically speaking, the board slide was your first slide. That's why it's called the board slide. And this one is actually called a 50-50 grind. Just making sure that you guys have your skateboard slang on point. If I didn't motivate you enough yet, think of how freaking awesome it would be to be able to just grind on the tricks of your skateboard. Once you're able to do this, you can learn these off of hubas and other big things. Just look at it, it's just so damn exciting and it looks so satisfying and cool. Just look at it, it's, how can you not want to learn that? As for all the easier tricks, you want to make sure that you learn these ones properly. Once you get into other grinds like 5-0s, smith grinds or nose grinds, it's always good to have solid 50-50s down. Having 50-50s on lock allows you to learn these other grinds easier and faster. Before you learn this trick, you want to be able to at least ride around on the skateboard. I also recommend trying some flat ground tricks first because that makes you more comfortable on a skateboard in general. For the front side 50-50, the only trick you really need to be able to do is the ollie. You can check out my ollie tutorial for that one. Please try to have solid ollies down because for this trick you have to ollie forward which is of course a little bit harder than a regular ollie. Now it's time for me to explain the foot positioning. For any grind or slide there's usually not too much about the foot positioning. And as for this one it's basically the same foot positioning as you do for an ollie. The only difference is that you gotta be able to ollie forward. You can just try this on the ground, find yourself a line or anything that helps you to see if you're ollieing forward. If you're able to do that, find yourself the smallest curb and try ollieing onto that. Then find yourself a good ledge and try it on there while moving. What's also important is the board positioning. With what angle are you approaching the ledge? Well, for a proper 50-50 I would say almost parallel to it with a little bit of an angle. The little bit of an angle is actually really important because this way you're able to keep your balance more on the ledge when grinding for a longer distance. Since you're just learning this trick though, you're not really going to be grinding for a really long distance, so it's definitely easier to do it at the end of the latch as well. Now let's take a look at the movement in three simple steps. Step 1. Pop onto the latch. This is actually a really crucial step since this determines your balance for the rest of your grind. If you're able to ollie high enough, then it's all about ollieing forward, and as I just explained, you can practice that on flat. Step 2. Grinding. This part is really all about keeping your balance. To stay on the ledge, you gotta have your center of gravity above it as well. A lot of that is already determined by your angle of approach. So if this is a problem for you, think about that. It's also easier to start out on the end of the ledge, so you just have a short grind. Step 3. Getting off the ledge. There are really two ways you can do it and I'll be explaining the easiest way, which is just hopping out of it at the end. What you want to do is a little manual movement when you approach the end of the latch. This way your board doesn't fall beneath you. You can also practice this movement in the middle of the latch, just standing still. When this becomes easy to you, you can even try to pop it out. Now it's common mistake time. The first common mistake is you getting on the latch without your board. A variation of this mistake is getting on the latch with your front truck only. To fix this you might want to work on your ollies and forward ollies a little bit more. Maybe even try it on a smaller ledge. What can also help is to focus only on getting your board on the ledge with you. Another common mistake is your board slipping out while grinding just like this. You can easily fix this by approaching the ledge with a little bit more of an angle and leaning more backwards. This is also a pretty nasty common mistake because you can get pretty bad shinners from this. Thanks for watching person who watched this video. 
The idea behind these videos is that I'm teaching you skateboarding from your point of view. This is how you would see yourself learning these tricks. And doing tutorials this way helps you to self-visualize. Self-visualization definitely works. It works really well, actually. So it's a big advantage of watching these tutorials over watching just regular ones. Subscribe for more upcoming tutorials and regular skate videos. Peace out, skate on, learn your tricks, land them, go out there and just skate.